What's the most alive is the, the wisdom of the body and that each of us has a capacity to, to deeply know ourselves. And one way that I've found to really experience that is through a deeper attention to the body as, as it is, to finding wholeness within. There's so many messages that we receive from society about our bodies or how we're supposed to look or judgments um, based on how we appear, based on our race, our sexual orientation, our gender, and yeah, the messages are toxic and separate, 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 and actually don't bring us into the experience of what it actually feels like to be alive, to have embodiment. And I'm, I'm someone who has a lot of trouble being in my body and I think that's part of the reason I came to Zen practice. Um, I had an eating disorder when I was really young and uh, was sexually assaulted twice. And so there was a, a very deep habit of body is pain and is not okay to be inside. And so much learning and wisdom has come from just these willingnesses to, to inhabit space and to feel deeply what's this breathing, alive body. And, and it's through the, the turning towards and the, the coming into and the, the really owning embodiment uh, with attention, with, with deep, deep love and kindness and patience that in a way, you know, we use the word transcend or open, the, the experience of the body becomes more than just the physical, physicality, but it's everything experienced through the senses. It's awareness itself, it's the nature of mind itself is open through attention in this, human body. And then the, the miracle of practice is it's through our particular embodiment that compassion lives, that love lives, that love is expressed and it can only be expressed through the, this instrument that we have, through our voice, our heart, our particular way we interact, our, pick something up or uh, touch another human being. So that's what's most alive for me.